Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on the basics of fiscal policy. So firstly, what is fiscal policy? Well, in our information section, we are told that fiscal policy is the alteration of government spending and investment. But it's much more than that also. It's also how much the government borrows and how much the government takes in revenue in the form of taxes. So overall, fiscal policy is the alteration of government spending, government borrowing and tax revenues. And we have two types of fiscal policy. We have expansionary fiscal policy, where the government will spend more money. There is an increase in government spending. And we have tight fiscal policy, which is where the government will not spend as much money. The government will spend less. The next thing you need to know is this idea of the PSNCR. Now PSNCR stands for the Public Sector Net Cash Requirement. Public sector being public bodies such as government departments. And the PSNCR is a measure of public sector borrowing. So how much these government departments will borrow. Now, if there is a negative PSNCR, then a government budget surplus is being run where more money is coming into the government's spending account in the form of revenue by tax than they are borrowing. So if the PSNCR is negative, then there is a government budget surplus being run with more revenue from tax than borrowing. And then obviously everything's the opposite way around if it's positive. So if we have a positive PSNCR, we have a government budget deficit being run where borrowing is greater than revenue from tax. So finally, how does fiscal policy affect aggregate demand? So if the government were to run an expansionary fiscal policy, so it spends more, then aggregate demand is going to rise. And this is not only because government spending will rise, the G in our formula will rise, but also consumption and investment will rise as the multiplier effect takes place. So the government spends more money, its workers have more wages, therefore, or it takes on new workers, so more people have an income. Therefore, spending will increase, so consumption rises. And also, as consumption is increasing, businesses are making more profit, so they'll invest more, so investment will increase also. So all because there's been a rise in government spending, consumption will rise as well as investment. So therefore, aggregate demand will increase if there is an expansionary fiscal policy being run. But then obviously if there's a tight fiscal policy being run, then aggregate demand will decrease as government spending, consumption and investment all fall. Also, if we remember our definition of fiscal policy was the alteration of government spending, borrowing and taxes. So the government doesn't just change its spending, it changes how much it borrows in its taxes too. So if the government were to implement tax cuts, then the average propensity to, to consume would rise because people have more money. Is there not, not as much of it is being taken away through taxes. So therefore consumption will increase and therefore aggregate demand will rise. And it's the same with investment. If there are tax cuts, then corporations don't pay as much corporation tax. So therefore they can spend this money on investment. So therefore investment will increase. So therefore aggregate demand will also.